This episode is brought to you by Elevate OS, the only all-in-one community operating system. Elevate OS transforms property management, combining resident engagement, reservations, rent payments, maintenance, and concierge services into a single super app. It also uniquely integrates access control, intercoms, package lockers, and thermostats, eliminating app fatigue and redefining modern apartment living. Visit elevateos.com forward slash MMN for a free demo and see how they can help you level up your operations. Welcome to another episode of the Multivarium Collective. Today, let's talk about AI. Um, I think potentially, not everybody, but some people are missing the point of, not the point, the real power in how you can leverage artificial intelligence in your organization. I'm going to read something that comes from an article written by, was posted by JLL on their website, JLL. It, uh, the headline is, Key Property Management Trends Impacting Multifamily Real Estate, or Multifamily Assets, rather. And it gets to this AI section, and in the AI section, it says, New technologies sprouting up in the post-pandemic era, such as solutions that leverage AI, can support the multifamily property property's transition by connecting it with prospective renters and streamlining property operations. It goes on. It says, AI can be used to automate the leasing process by communicating with prospects, answering common questions, scheduling tours, and taking the burden of menial tasks off of the leasing team. Now, I think all of that is true, but I think it stops short of where the real power of artificial intelligence can take over. I think the real power, a number of years ago, I think it was six or seven years ago, I met with Dom Beveridge and <clears throat> Donald Davidoff. We were, I believe, in Orlando, Florida. It was NMHC, if I'm not mistaken. And it was the very first 20 for 20 a paper that Dom later published. So he was interviewing people at the NMHC, NMHC conference collecting data. At that time, he asked me a question about technologies. I can't remember what the question was exactly, but it was technologies that were making impact in multifamily. And at the time I had disclosed that we had put in place something called Lisa, which was an artificial intelligence leasing consultant or an AI leasing consultant, a little bit beyond a bot. It did have the ability to communicate over text message in a telephone call. Well, actually, if you called it, it would hang up on you, which was really weird, but it'd hang up on you and immediately text message you and you could start to have a conversation with it over text messages. Later sold to Appfolio, but the point that I made during that particular interview was for the first time ever, now I found out later, I'll give you a punchline in a second, but I said, for the first time ever, I will start to really trust revenue management because Lisa will put real traffic stats into our property management system and by extension, our revenue management system. So we get real-time data where in the past you had relied on leasing consultants, you'd relied on humans and people to put that information into the system. And we all know that you get busy, whatever. It doesn't matter what the excuse was, but that traffic that went into our system was not 100% accounted for. But in my head, six or seven years ago, when Lisa came along, all of a sudden, revenue management would be very powerful. Now, later on, I found out that systems like Yardi and RealPage and others didn't play well with best of breed technologies that were making their way into the multifamily space. They, they couldn't push data back and forth anyway. It's, it's an age old argument. It's an age old pain in the multifamily space. But the fast forward to today, artificial intelligence in the leasing process, as this article suggests, answering common questions, scheduling tours, and taking the burden off of needle tasks and leasing team, I think it stops one step short of where AI will be really powerful. And it goes back to that point that I made six or seven years ago with Dom. And that is for the first time, we have the opportunity to completely automate, take the human out of the application process, the verification process, the approval process of a prospect, the actual lease contract itself, and the execution of digital signatures and carry that on through to renewals or any other paperwork that is necessary. Communication between resident and prospect slash resident. For the first time ever, you're going to have real data in the system that is unadulterated by a human. The human by default, because of distraction in a leasing office, sometimes puts data in the system that it just isn't correct. Or they manipulate the system 
so that it can move to the next step. If you have forcing functions in place in your property management system, they manipulate the information so they can get the, they can force the function. Uh, they can go around the function that has, that is necessary for a next step to happen. So with AI in the equation, there is no way to force the function. You have to put the information into the system. Most of this is DIY. So the consumer is putting their information into the system. The system, the algorithm, whatever you want to call it, will do all the verification, will do all the lease preparation, contract preparation. It will distribute the move-in letters. It will populate the lease contract. It will send the communication to sign the lease contract. It will do everything. And if you, if you have a property that is blessed with digital entry to your apartment units, it'll issue the FOB code access, whatever it is. So no human will touch that. The point that I am really stressing here is for the first time ever, we're going to have clean data going into our systems. And that clean data will allow for us to, for the first time, at least as far as I'm concerned, first time ever, make truly clear and unadulterated, informed decisions about next steps in our property management business and trying to create outcomes for our property management business and our, and our owners and our team members and our business partners. I think AI, that's where the real power of AI lies. It's data, clean on the front side, not washed and scrubbed on the backside. It's clean going into the system for the first time ever. That's my opinion. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.